Alrighty, what is going on guys and girls? Sort of a uh, a later video today for Sunday, but uh, I kind of knew that was going to happen because I really have absolutely no time to record on Sundays. But uh, I thought that this would be a fun, different uh, sort of video going up today. This is a, um, this is Universe Sandbox 2, if you uh, remember from the last time we played around with it, just doing a whole bunch of different simulations. But uh, this time I thought I'd have a little bit of a specific goal in mind, and that is to take Mars right here, right? And to terraform it. Make it completely Earth-like. I don't know if it's possible um, in terms of this game, but hey, I figured, you know, why not try it out? Am I right? So the first major problem we uh, encounter here with Mars, of course, is that uh, its temperature is way too low. Right now it's negative 58 degrees Celsius, and uh, if we start, you know, spinning around here, it's, it just kind of fluctuates a bunch but uh if we want to change that well we kind of one need to add mass because we're going to need to add a little bit of mass anyway and uh two basically add heat in the only way humans know possible and that's to blow stuff up and uh ram other objects into it hit the microphone there so uh let's we're just going to go into the add chart here i'm going to go into a uh, launch and we can do 10 kilometers a second. And um, I guess we can do, let's do, um, we're going to want some minor, uh, you know, thing ramming into here. But we don't want anything too small to where it's not going to really have an impact. So I figured, uh, why not, let's try, um, let's try Haley's Comet. Let's add a bunch of those, shall we? So we'll just, we're paused right now, so we'll just launch one of you. And then maybe put one here and here and there. And then maybe a couple more here. We'll just bombard the whole outer uh, outer surface of Mars with Halley's Comets, I suppose. And we're going to actually want to see this uh, whole collision course go down. That is a lot of comets in orbit around Mars. But uh, we're going to want to see this go down. So let's um, take this and do from days a second to perhaps hours a second and then uh, let's just hit play oh and look at all of those giant explosions going on that is a lot of explosions right there um didn't really seem to up the temperature at all if we increase the time to perhaps days a second again no it's really not really not affecting the uh, temperature all that much however if we kind of just keep ramming it into there um perhaps we should move on to bigger objects let's try let's try hamemi uh this it's a bigger object slightly by um a tiny bit let's let's see what this sort of collision would have as an effect on mars uh, here goes we we should probably move this down to a minutes a second and ready set and uh Oh, look at that. That is menacing. It's like a slow crawl. Oh, boy. Here we go. And this is going to be quite an explosion that's about to happen. Ooh. So, uh... You could say that uh, that kind of achieved the temperature increase we wanted. It's currently uh, 76.7 degrees Celsius on Mars. Hey, uh, you know what? At least it's not enough for water to boil quite yet. Am I right? That's because that's what our eventual next step is going to be. Uh, it's going to be. Oh, boy, look at that. It's going to be uh, adding water to Mars. So let's move this up a little bit. And there we go. We got a nice uh, toasty Mars going on right here. Now, hopefully that hasn't affected the orbits of anything else. Nope, not really. And we've only really, we haven't really added that much significant mass to the planet. So now it's just time to kind of uh, pelt it with water containing things. If we go into the Mars edit menu here and we look at the uh, materials it's made up, we see it's very 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 tiny amounts of water however if we go into the add and if we let's see if we launch like a uh, Halley's Comet at it launch a couple of those 
And if we just hit play, a couple of those should probably increase the amount of water mass on Mars. You can see that going up in the corner there, luckily. So if we just kind of keep pelting it with comets, I mean, eventually the more water mass will go up enough, but uh, not fast enough, I don't think. So let's get rid of this here and let's see. Wow. You can see that from the uh, non-daylight side. That is going to be a massive puddle of a of an ocean once it's done over there. But um, let's go into the the um, ad, and I think it's uh, materials here, and it's the launch. No, this is launch. We need we need materials. So where is that? Power materials. And let's add in some water, velocity at 10 kilometers a second, particles a second, spread. That all looks plenty fine. And now we kind of just want to keep, well, we'll hit play. And we'll kind of just spread it onto the uh, Martian surface there. Look at all that water going. Um, now, if we add a little bit more, like so, it should start filling up a little bit. Look at all of that water. Now, it's going to need an atmosphere, obviously, to keep it uh, supported enough. So, ooh, look at the valley. Moranis filling up. All that water. Beautiful. Look at it. Now, uh, we're going to need to get some atmosphere in there. So, let's add in some carbon dioxide. Keep the planet nice, warm, and toasty. You can see a nice, thick coating of an atmosphere forming there and uh let's let's see how our martian status is doing right now so click on it and click there and it should give us in climate an earth similarity index so i i think that's around here somewhere hmm if it's not in climate it's in basic and that is somewhere down here nope maybe in materials i'm i'm not sure all right there we go earth similarity 8.9 and a life like you could have not not a lot at all um but other than that everything seems to be stabilizing quite a bit the temperature is going down ever so slightly but it is um it's quite a little uh a little bit higher than room temperature but uh it's nice it's a nice habitable surface right now um perhaps maybe enough for life eventually if we kind of just start Adding in some organics, perhaps, if we go into materials and we do organics, and we kind of just launch that there. Let's see. Now, I don't think it'll actually show, you know, any green or anything. It'll kind of keep it, uh, kind of keep it the same Martian texture, but, uh, we should see an uptake in, uh, ooh, look at all that. That is forming quite an atmosphere. I don't think clouds are going to quite form on it either but uh the climate is looking pretty a okay so far we've done and made ourselves it's quite a water world right now but uh it's beautiful nonetheless we don't want to put too much because then it'll end up turning into a yeah uh, too thick of an atmosphere like venus but if we uh click right here and click on here it has a mass of 12.1 moons dang and the radius is still increasing for whatever reason but uh climate wise it's 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 doing quite amazingly let's go into uh materials here earth similarity 7 point well 0.79 that is quite amazing that is a uh, a beautiful planet so far uh it really doesn't need anything else i don't think i mean it's it's uh i mean we could try to up the uh life likelihood a little bit if we wanted to try that but everything seems pretty pretty good so far i mean i'm not sure if it has any magnetic field at all if we play around with that but um everything seems pretty pretty amazing um we really quite terraforming this world look at it's even got clouds now clouds on mars it's completely terraformed now i don't know if the lighter tint here is because of the organics we were putting down or if it's just because of the atmosphere that's in place, but it seems to keep its greenish tinge if we move it around like that. Let's see. Now that we've achieved 
a green Mars. Let's see if we can actually put in a green Mars. We'll just do some of this. I gotta hit play there. I don't want to overdo this and get too thick of an atmosphere. But perhaps. Now nah, it doesn't look like it's going to turn any more green. The atmosphere is just getting way too dark now. But uh, looks quite good. Look at all those rivers and lakes forming over there. It looks uh it looks pretty good in my book. I mean, that would just be that looks just like a huge desert. But that's basically what Mars is already, so you know. Did a, a pretty good job, I I think. <laughs> just turned the whole thing into a world of water. There we go. Wow, look at that deep impact. That's that was the impact site where we just threw a meme at Mars. Which it seems it seems silly now, but you know, one day perhaps with some of the giant engineering projects that people are coming out with, it um it won't be such a improbable thing. We might just end up throwing something ginormous at Mars and hoping it'll uh it'll change it forever. I mean obviously it wouldn't be as big as Hameme, but uh It'd probably be something pretty significant and huge. Or just a lot of comets over and over and over again. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a, just a little bit of a shorter video, but uh, it was it was kind of fun. I started playing around with this in my own free time, and it kind of just... I, I couldn't figure it out originally, and so I figured, ah, oh, why not make it into a video and do this in the, free, in the meantime. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, perhaps I'll do more of these in the future. Maybe terraform the whole solar system or something but uh yeah uh, i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll leave you with the the own well mars's own moon just kind of launching into a launching into its surface kaboom well that that did not affect it much at all yeah.